Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Aqueduct's Pokemon Incorporated. My name is Zach, but you can just call me Ducky. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a binder review of my Ultra Rare binder and my favorites binder. So we're just going to start off with the Ultra Rare binder right away because it's really cool and I really, I'm really excited to show all you guys. Just be aware, there's a little glare. I got a new, um, I got a new lamp and we're going to test it out. I'm also using a top view today because I feel like it's going to be more effective for the video and it's probably not going to be the normal thing. So just don't worry about that. Here we go. Our first page is going to be the best page. I know it's a little like, oh, come on, Zach, but we did it. Here we go. Our first page, we have my favorite card of all time, that full art Zekrom from Black and White Base Set. And then we got that full art Mewtwo, the Mega Mewtwo that I pulled just a couple videos ago. You should go check that out. I'll leave that in the end of the video. We got some full arts, full art Latios, full art Ho-Oh, sorry about the glare. Secret Rare Gyarados, Full Art Reshiram, that goes with the Zekrom. And then over here, I'm just gonna say the things that stick out to me or have stories to them. So, Secret Rare Dropout, that's a really cool card. And then this one right here, I'm gonna see if I can get it without glare. Um, this is the Mega Alakazam EX. Mega Alakazam. No, it is a regular Alakazam EX from Fates Collide. And it is one of my favorite Full Arts of all time. You know, besides the Zekrom. Then over here, we have some Shining Rayquazas, an Entei EX. And then these two are two old EXs. And this one you might recognize from my first video because it's one of my favorite cards. Over here, we're moving to the Secret Rares. I don't have a lot of Secret Rares, I must admit. But these two I have pulled. These two I bought. And then these I have traded. A little story behind the Missing Clover. So I was in Flushing, New York for some reason. Don't ask why. Um, I was in Flushing, New York, and there was this mall, and I was like, hey, you know what's a good idea? To buy some Pokemon cards. So I did. I bought one pack of Ultra Prism. I overpaid a little, I must admit, but I pulled the missing clover out of it, and it just, like, made my trip so worth it, because I had a terrible time in Flushing, New York. Bad memories. All right, so over here, we got some full art trainers uh, going down the line. And, uh, the only one that I really want to point out is this Jurassic Full Art, because it is my favorite Full Art Trainer of all time. Except for, except for one I don't have, Giovanni Scheme. It looks so cool. If anybody has that card and is willing to buy or trade, please let me know, because I'm really interested in keeping that card in my collection. Alright, um, we got some Full Art Mega cards here. We got Mega Latios, Mega Skyzer, and then that, um... That Radiant Collection Generations. Moving along here, we got some more Full Arts. The only ones that really stick out to me are these two. The uh, Kyogre and Groudon, because they are the only two Ultra Rares from Double Crisis. And I'm very proud to say that I pulled neither of them. <laughs> uh, I traded them uh, gradually, because they were from two different people, I believe. And I was like, you know what? I really want to complete this set. I didn't know that Double Crisis only had two secret rare, secret rare, two only ultra rares. But when I saw it, I was like, wow, I feel really special right now. I already gave you a little preview because of my camera angle of this side. But this one, the only one that I really want to point out, Thunderness and Tornadus. Those guys just look so cool back to back. I had to put them back to back. And... I wanted to look into getting the Landorus, but it's like a promo, and it wouldn't fit in the binder, and you know what? I love this just as it is, and I'm just going to let it be. These are from... I just opened packs of these. Why am I blinking up? Noble Victories! These are from Noble Victories. No, they are not. I'm sorry. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below. What set are these from? I don't remember. They're from something that the Keldeo EX10 had. All right. Now we're to the regular Ultra Rares here. We got the Megas. We got Mega Mewtwo, which I have the full art version of. And then we got the only one that I really remember, really have a memory of, is this Mega Sceptile. Uh, my sister got me a Rayquaza tin for my birthday, which is actually in my background. You just can't see it because it's supporting this picture. But um, 
I didn't have a lot of, there weren't a lot of pulls, and then it was like the last pack, because I always deem a lucky pack, and that was the lucky pack, and I was like so happy. I'm like, best birthday ever. And then down the line here, nothing really of note, except for this Mewtwo EX right here in the middle. This Mewtwo EX was in my original Fighting Psychic deck. I don't know how to make decks, I was never very good at the TCG game, but I used it in my deck. Down the line here, the only thing I can really point out on this page is the Leafeon GX I got from a Ultra Plit Prism Elite Trainer Box, and the only other pull from that was the Prism Star Soul Galeo from my first video. Down the line, what? Wait a second, you couldn't have done this so fast, Zach. How did you get these three guys back in the binder so quickly? I tell you, I sort cards really fast. I go through bulk really quickly. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm selling bulk on eBay, so I'm going to leave a uh, link in the description down below so you can buy from my eBay store. And if you buy from my eBay store, I might throw in a little surprise. Maybe we'll see if you buy. It's a lot of 100 random cards, and there's a hollow rare probably, and a lot of reverse. So check that out. Yeah, please do. All right, going down the line here. Absolutely nothing of it. That it, it's just cool stuff, I guess. Let's see. That Keldeo EX is not the Keldeo EX from the Keldeo EX tin that I got. That is from a completely different thing. Um, I think I traded for it because of its attack. Here, let me zoom in on that attack. Sacred Sword does twenty more damage. Reach Water Energy attached to this Pokemon. I had this in a Water Fire deck at one point, and it was just like I would just grind Water Energies onto this guy. And he'd do such massive damage. I think I got to like 110. And then down here, uh, the only thing I want to point out here is the Scramble Switch. That is the most valuable a spec card I have. It's worth around $7. And then, um, oh, this Ho-Oh EX. I have the full art version, and it was in my first video because it is one of my, it is one of my most valuable cards. All right, over here. This is more ultra rare, secret rare, but these are Korean. I opened a Fates Collide Korean boost, booster box, and um, these were the three pulls I got. I gotta say, kind of disappointed, 150 cards, only three hits, but you know what? I'm fine. I also got a holographic Mew and two other holographics, but so it doesn't really... I thought it was a good deal. So we got the secret rare Alexam, Altaria EX, and a Lugia Break. Down here I got some promos that I think are valuable. We got the Ho-Oh GX um, Rainbow Rare from the Shining Legend Super Premium Collection box. And um, that looks familiar. Let me see. Oh yeah, Mail Day! You should go check that video out. Once again, I'm going to leave it at the end of the video. Once you watch through the whole thing, you get to see that there's a little box. It's going to say, this video, you should watch it. You should watch it, yeah? Yeah. All right. Down here, Zapdos. That's got a story. I was, you know, going through Generations packs. Ah, oh, glare. I can't. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. There's, like, no way to get the glare out of this. So I was, like, grinding through some Generations packs, and I got this um, Zapdos EX. And I was like, oh, my God, it's an Ultra Rare. I'm going to put it in my Ultra Rare binder right away. And then I look in the corner. If you look at the corner here, it has got a black star, and that means it is just a rare. So you know the rarity system. Circle means commons. Diamond means uncommon, black star means rare, shiny star means ultra rare. Th that's the classification system anyway. And so I thought this was an ultra rare, and then I looked at all the stars in my binder, and it just wasn't. And this is the least um, overwhelming page. It's actually very underwhelming. It's just breaks. I don't know. There's nothing much about these breaks. They're kind of they're kind of bad. All right. Um, so that's that binder. I'm going to scooch this over, and we're going to move on to my favorites binder. This binder was a gift to me by one of my sister's friends, and, um, it had a ton of old vintage -y cards in, but I just, I felt like I needed to give it a purpose. I needed to give it something greater than what it was. So, I'm going to tell you some of these cards are worth nothing. Some of them are very nostalgic to me. So let's just go on. So, right away, we can see Absol. 
here's the thing. Every YouTuber should have a good slogan. Mine, whenever we see an Absol, pull an Absol, anything like that, the word is absolutely Absol. So, I'm gonna say it right now. You can say it with me. Absolutely Absol. Awesome. Alright, um, I got the two Zoroarks. I think they're worth a little bit. I'm not sure. Don't really care about the value about these cards. Um, I got some holographic magnetons. I have a lot of holographic magnetons for some reason. Um, from base set, fossil, and rocket. And over here, I gotta tell you a little story about Red Cheeks Pikachu. So when, uh, the Pokemon Company was printing the base set cards, they did a lot of different sets. You know, they did the Shadowless, they did the Unlimited, they did all different kinds of sets. But the Pikachu with the red cheeks is a misprint. It is not supposed to happen. It shouldn't be real. So this card is worth a lot of money in mint condition. Unfortunately, it is in beat up condition because I got it from my cousin. So he didn't really take care of his cards back in the day. But you can also see that it's shadowless. And I explained shadowless earlier in one of my first videos. Over here, some nostalgic cards. The ho reverse holographic from generate generation from evolutions is worth a lot because it's Charizard and Charizard just sell sell sells. We got a Charizard from a black and white set, and then these two guys are just old hollows that I some of my earliest memories of Pokemon have were these old hollows. So this is great. I love these. I just they're worth nothing. I put them in my binder anyways. And um, finally, like the last one of the last stories I'm going to tell you is about this Entei. It's a shining Entei. It's probably one of the first Pokemon products I opened. It, I think it came in either a box or a tin. And I traded it away a couple years ago. And I kind of forgot about it. And then I went back to camp where I traded it away and traded more cards with more people. And I got it back. I was like, wait a second. I feel like I've seen this before. And I just realized it was mine. And it, oh, I was so happy. Over here, two cards you probably recognize. Dragonite and Venusaur from my favorites, vintage cards, whatever, that first video. And then this card, this Snivy, once again, I have a very mixed up memory as to what the first po uh, Pokemon product I, I opened was. I'm pretty sure it was the Snivy. I got it from a black and white thing. It was pretty cool. All right, over here, nothing really much. We got the gold bordered Meowth, a Black Star promo. Over here, just some old hollows, some... Pokemon League Hollows. Over here, we got the Solgaleo Prism Star, which I talked about earlier. And we got a Gyarados Base Set Hollow. That's pretty much it for this page. We got a Base Set Blastoise, but the problem with this Base Set Blastoise is that it is in such beat up condition. There is a tear on the back. It's really ugly. I'm not going to show you. It's worth only five bucks, but that just tells you how much Base Set is worth these days. Five bucks for a very damaged Blastoise. That's still insane. The pre-release Gyarados for my previous videos. And I'm just gonna hover through at this point. Because there's not really much to look at. Um, this is a really good artwork. I just kept it in because it's a really good artwork. Some promos. Promo EXs. You know, the usual. The Kelio EX from the Kelio EX 10. Over here, we got some promos. We got two Black Star promos, a Mew and Meowth. And we got three Ashes Pikachu from that event at GameStop. Over here is one of my prides and joys. They complete Pokemon movie stamp set. There were only four cards that came out, and I have all four of them, and it makes me really happy. And this is my Shadowless collection. Once again, Shadowless is when there's no shadow on the border on the right. So we got Charmander, Charmeleon, Ghastly Onyx. Weedle, and some three energies. All right, guys, that's my video for today. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Always, always do those things. I really appreciate when you do it. It makes me feel so happy. I get new subscribers, I get more popular, and I can give you guys, the viewers, more content. I think you guys want more content, right? Yes. All right, so that's my video for today. I'm Octoducks Pokemon, and I'm out.